Just when you think the creature and the legend may have died down, some new eyewitness accounts pop up to remind you the story is still very much alive. Filled with towering shapes, forgotten giants, and creatures that shouldn't exist. These oceans are not only vast, they are terrorizing. So watch closely because sometimes the world doesn't need explanation. The frilled shark is one of the most bizarre looking creatures on the planet. It just needs to be seen differently. With that in mind, let's begin. Long before whales ruled the oceans, monsters held dominion. Fossil records speak of Gigantophus, a prehistoric serpent stretching over 30 feet, and Leviathan Melvilli, a whale-hunting beast with teeth longer than knives they vanished millions of years ago, or so we tell ourselves. Recently, deep-sea sonar has recently picked up undulating shapes longer than any living creature known to science. No camera has ever captured them clearly, just long, sinuous shadows moving through trenches too deep for submersibles. Some researchers think it's a glitch, or maybe pressure interference, but others notice a disturbing pattern. These signals reappear near fault lines and deep sea vents, as if something massive still hunts in Earth's warmest cracks. Now, here is a scary thought. Gigantophus once ruled coastal waters and Leviathan ruled the open sea. But maybe extinction didn't eradicate them. Maybe it drove them down to a world where pressure preserves giants and hunger never fades. Long before satellites and sonar, sailors told stories of tentacles rising from the sea, grabbing entire ships and dragging them under. They called it the Kraken. Everyone laughed. Then in the 2000s, scientists pulled up proof. The colossal squid, a creature so massive its eyes are the size of dinner plates and its limbs lined with rotating hooks. It wasn't a story anymore. It was real. The squid lives more than two kilometers below the Antarctic ice, where even submarines struggle to navigate. But sonar readings have shown things moving beneath them, larger than any known squid. Some moving fast enough to chase sperm whales, leaving scars on their skin like looping rings. If the colossal squid is a predator, then what hunts it? The ocean still hides corners deeper than Everest's height, and every expedition record sounds too low for human ears, resonant pulses that don't match any marine species known to science. Maybe the Kraken was never a myth, maybe it was just the first warning. Because if evolution built monsters like these to survive the dark, then the next thing down there wasn't built to survive, it was built to rule. Back in the 90s, the Navy's headphones picked up something that's still baffling the experts. They recorded a signal ringing out at 52 hertz. A pitch no whale alive should even be able to produce. This began in 1992, when Navy hydrophones picked up a wandering pulse moving thousands of miles every year from California to Alaska. The pattern was perfect, just wrong. Too high for a blue whale, too low for a fin whale, and yet strong enough to cut through an ocean the size of a continent. Over the years, researchers tracked this signal moving thousands of miles from California to Alaska every single season. But despite decades of monitoring, no one has ever seen the whale responsible. No sonar images, no surface sightings, nothing. Scientists suggested it could be a hybrid or a whale with a vocal abnormality, but none of those explanations fully match the data. What makes it mysterious is simple. The call still returns every year, and the animal behind it remains completely unknown. In the depths of the ocean, being small isn't just a matter of power, it's how you stay alive. In the dark and intense pressure down there, the way things evolve becomes completely different. It's called deep sea gigantism, where creatures grow freakishly large in places where life shouldn't even exist. The deeper it gets, the slower everything moves low temperatures. Crushing pressure, scarce food, every calorie matters, so nature compensates by scaling up. Take the giant isopod, a creature that looks like a roach built for war, two feet long with armor plates and claws made for scavenging corpses that fall from the surface. It can survive years without eating. That's not exaggeration, it's strategy. Then there's the Japanese spider crab. 
stretching almost 13 feet from claw to claw. Its legs move like ancient machinery, slow but unstoppable. And if you think that nature has been kind to them by giving them huge bodies, you're wrong. Bigger bodies mean slower metabolisms, and slower metabolisms mean longer survival in a world where dinner might fall once every few months. Every creature is a lesson in patience and persistence. But evolution doesn't stop at scavengers. If survival can turn a crustacean into a monster, what happens when the same law applies to predators? And that's where it starts getting dangerous. In late 2022, the NOAA research ship, Okeanos Explorer, spotted something that stopped the crew in their tracks. Deep on an unnamed seamount northeast of Hawaii at 3,300 meters, a massive octopus appeared on the ROV camera. This wasn't any ordinary deep sea squid. Its arms stretched over 26 feet, almost twice the size of any living octopus ever recorded. One arm casually draped over a rock the size of a car. The slow, deliberate movements made it feel ancient, unstoppable. At first, the team thought it was a fluke, follow-up dives in 2023 revealed another individual of the same enormous size. Genetic testing confirmed it was the same species as previously known tiny juveniles, meaning deep sea simply lets them keep growing to unimaginable lengths. You're now entering the world of living fossils, predators the time forgot, sharks that have been gliding through black water for over 80 million years, unchanged because nothing ever forced them to adapt. The frilled shark, with its rows of needle-like teeth and serpentine body, moves more like a snake than a fish. It doesn't chase, it waits. Then, in a single pulse, it strikes, swallowing prey whole. Scientists call it primitive, but maybe it's just perfectly efficient. The frilled shark is one of the most bizarre looking creatures on the planet. It really does does look like an alien. It's possible some of the myths and legends of sea serpents came from the frilled shark. And then comes the six gill shark, a creature that can reach over 20 feet long, cruising the twilight zone of the ocean like a silent submarine. Its lineage dates back to the age of dinosaurs, surviving extinction events, temperature shifts, even mass die-offs. These sharks didn't just outlive history, they outweighted it. Isolation kept them pure. The ocean's depths acted like a time capsule, freezing evolution in place. Down there being monstrous wasn't a flaw, it was a winning formula. But recently, Sonar picked up something else, something bigger, a moving shadow deeper than any known shark could survive. The first confirmed big fin squid was filmed in 1988 off the coast of Brazil, at a depth of nearly 5,000 meters. But it wasn't until 2000, during an ROV dive in the Gulf of Mexico, that scientists captured the clearest footage. These squids have extremely long, thin arms, sometimes over 20 feet, that hang straight down and bend like elbows. They don't swim like normal squids. Instead, they walk or glide along the seafloor in slow, deliberate movements. Noe recorded more sightings in 2007 and 2012 near Hawaii and the Atlantic, confirming they live in deep trenches around the world, but they are rarely seen because ROVs can barely operate under that pressure. Even today, fewer than 20 confirmed videos exist. We still don't know how they hunt, how many exist, or why their limbs evolved to such extreme lengths. Now let's talk about the monster that shouldn't exist. For years, sonar systems in the Pacific have detected something, a shape over 60 feet long, moving against the current, deeper than any whale could survive naval logs list it simply as unidentified marine object. Every time it appears, instruments malfunction, submarines lose contact, then silence. Could it be the Megalodon, a shark that once ruled the seas, stretching up to 70 feet with teeth the size of human hands, officially extinct for over 3 million years? Yet modern ocean scans show anomalies at depths far below what we've explored. And there's more. low-frequency roars recorded off the Mariana Trench, so deep they shake entire sensor grids. The sound profile doesn't match whales or any known creature the Navy classified it under one word, biological. But nothing that size should be alive down there. Nothing known, at least. But it's not always sharks that appear from the depths. Sometimes the signals point to something that shouldn't even move. Now step into the human side of the abyss, submarines, data logs, and voices that shouldn't exist.
For decades, deep diving vessels have reported impossible readings, pressure spikes, temperature drops, and the sensation of being followed. At 20,000 feet, sound doesn't travel normally. It bends, stretches, and returns distorted. But one mission reported something else entirely. A black box recovered from a lost sub recorded rhythmic pulses. This sound wasn't random nor mechanical. It resembled the pattern of a heartbeat. The size of the pulse suggested a creature hundreds of meters long. Every time it neared, the instruments went haywire, like the ocean itself was shutting off. Later, when the data was played back at surface level, technicians heard faint metallic echoes, like something scraping the hull. The sound analysis said it wasn't rock, it was organic. Scientists proposed theories of thermal gradients, pressure waves, even resonance phenomena, but the classified logs say otherwise. The files were sealed under biological contact unknown origin. If that's true, then something is still moving down there. There, something vast, something aware, and if it's watching us, maybe we were never meant to find it. Origin Below Some biologists believe deep-sea gigantism might be more than adaptation. It could be inheritance. Genetic remnants of an older ecosystem still whispering through evolution. They're descendants of something that once ruled. Because the ocean isn't just hiding life, it's guarding history. An unbroken bloodline stretching back to the dawn of multicellular existence. The depths didn't kill the giants. They preserved them, changed them, taught them patience. So maybe, just maybe, what lives down there isn't a mistake of evolution. Maybe it's evolution remembering what power used to look like. In this case, we can say that Earth's first masters never really vanished. They just went home, into the dark, where they've been waiting ever since. And that's it for today. If you like this video, make sure you're subscribed to this channel, and don't forget to push that notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. See you soon!